Kung sakasakali man ako'y tumakbot, manalo, kulimling pa lang, may ayuda ka na. Nagpapacheck up ka pa lang, katabi mo na yung embalsamador. Oh, no! Huwag naman ganun. Sir, huwag ganun. Manalo kayo. Manalo ba? P- pwede, pwede. <laughs>
I just really want to be like my mom. So she inspired me to be a lawyer. So bata pa lang ako. I probably wasn't even speaking yet properly. I would always tell people I want to be a lawyer. Ang first words mo ay uh, ano kaya may kinalaman? May kinalaman sa <laughs> loko. <laughs> no, but did she, did she influence you na anak? You know, be be a lawyer, no, or hindi ka, never, it was purely by observation. No, no, she never, because alam niya mahirap ang trabaho na abuga siya. Yeah. So, pag sinasabi ko, I want to be a lawyer. Sabi niya, are you sure? Um, aralin mo mo na. Okay, Ganun siya. Okay. So looking back, I was like, how come you don't want me to be a lawyer, ba? Because sabi niya, hindi ka mabilib sa akin. Gumana na. It came to a point na parang why are why, how come it seems like you're discouraging me? Siyempre pala, yung naglaw school ako. Ah, alam ko na, nagyas ko na yung nanay ko. Sobrang hirap pala. Grabbing uh, oh. aral, yung um, puyat. Tapos yung kaba mo lagi sa mga professors mo, nahaharap ka ng recitation, tapos isang beses lang. So, 50-50 yung grade mo, exam and recitation. So, if pumalya ka sa recitation, wala, bagsak ka na. <laughs> and sabi mo nga kanina, uh, and the way I see it also, and please correct me if I'm wrong. Sure. You know, a big part of being a lawyer is you have to be confident. Siyempre, pag humarap ka sa kliyente mo, pag humarap ka sa judge. Now, coming from a very shy persona, Meron ka bang iniisip? Parang I remember a movie, um, Jennifer Lopez yata, okay. Made in Manhattan. Alright, alright, yeah. Na, na parang whenever uh, si Ralph or something, uh, basta the lead guy, she would, to she's would do a speech, meron siyang paper clip Cute. na iniipit sa, pinaglalaroan sa bulsa okay. to get his mind off his nerves. True. So ikaw, may, may ganun ka ba noon? Me, I try to imagine myself as, sorry, ang tanda na talaga ng TV show na to, Ali McGill. <laughs> oh, wow. You okay, remember that? Okay, I remember so, that. So, because yun nga, I'm very shy. So, before um, before I meet clients in the past, diba? kasi you have to exude that ano, eh, confidence. Eh. Other, you have to, sorry, uh, sorry to say this term, um, may, uh, fake it till you make it. I, so, I, I don't know if that's a good or bad um mentality but um, that's what I do eh, because I want them to see na they trusted their confidence in me they trusted me to take on their case so dapat pakita ko sa kanila na worth it ako na worthy naman yung um, bayad sa akin or yung pagtrust na yung lang sa akin tiwala. so may tiwala kasi doon so I really try to you know have this persona or sometimes like what would my mom think in this situation how would she think in this situation wow. so bilang idolo ko nga nanay ko so that's how I ano that's how I function. I guess we're on the same boat. Because if I'm talking to my mom, my idol, I'm going to be mommy. Ko. Oh, yeah, I love in an alternate mom. universe, if you're not a lawyer, si Yusek, what are you doing? Stewardess. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. No, because I like traveling, which okay. I don't get to do often anymore. Okay. So okay. sometimes when I'm in the plane thinking and reflecting on my life, <laughs> pa- I, I see the stewardess. Like when you're talking about it, you're like, <laughs> no, because they get to travel and even if um, kasi unlike modeling may lifespan eh yes. diba? so hindi na, he can't be a model forever so my expiration date so at least for stewardess it's much longer yes. so I like traveling I like fixing up so I like being pretty okay <laughs> best destination you've been to I guess it, have, it would have to be Maldives Okay. Ako, okay, I've I've never been. Okay. So to ba? Parang sinasabi nga nila na it's sinking. Parang there's a yes. a shelf life. I read for the that Maldives, also. That's why you need to go bef- uh, when you can because of climate climate change. Yes. It's real. Okay. So, what is it about Maldives? Na ina binabalik. I know. Mo? Maybe because it's it's so quiet. It's so peaceful. It was serene. Although yung kasama ko, yung BFF ko si Pablo Kabag, designer. Hindi <laughs> serene kasama yun. But um, we enjoyed it because um, it was a time talaga to reflect because you're not distracted. Eh. You're just, I, parang you're just seeing the water. It's so clear. You could see the fish. You could see the corals. Ang ganda talaga. Na parang bihira lang sa akin makita ng ganon. So na appreciate ko talaga na ang ganda pala ng mundo. Ang ganda. Yung mga little things it na I used down. to take it. Yeah, it's really slow. Cause island life, and then there's no one there. It's just you and your friends. So and it makes you think about a lot of things. Mama pa reflect ka talaga sa buhay kung tama ba yung mga decision na ginawa ko. <laughs> ang, ang social na music, no? Pag gusto niyo ng tahimik, sa mga dibs pumupunta. Hindi, o saan beses ako nakapunta. Ako sa Loyola, but... sa Sukat. Sobrang tahimik doon. Pag may nag-ingo, tumatakbo ko. Sometimes naman. Tumatakbo ko na hindi. Sorry, pero once pa lang ako nakapunta doon. Okay, so dream destination naman. Ako baga, mabakante lang ang schedule mo. Saka pupunta, you said. Shucks. I haven't thought about it. But maybe somewhere near lang. I want to try, um, I want to go back to Coron. 
No, it's not a dream okay. destination, but it's also uh, one of the places that I would really want to go back to. Because okay. in then same same vibe as Maldives, na tahimik. You're just in your own island. Tapos, um, wala lang. You're just um, in touch with nature. Tapos yung mga bagay nagsu slow down yung utak mo. Hindi ka lang puro work. So, unlike some people I know na kahit nasa Palawan diyan, <laughs> si Ms. Doris yan, most Oo, probably. For no, sure. So, siya yon na kahit nasa Palawan nagtatrabaho pa rin. But when whenever I'm in Palawan kasi talaga nagso-slow down yung utak ko. So, mas nare-relax ako tapos yun. What I see is you appreciate the simplicity of life. Yes. You appreciate the pace of life whether it be yung slowness niya or when things are upbeat. Ang tanong ko sa iyo, is nabababa mo pa ba ang phone mo? Only when I'm asleep, <laughs> okay. because I'm always um, looking at my phone. Because I might be on call, because it's eh, public service, yeah, yeah. which I realized when I entered um, public service. It's a 24/7 job. I don't know. Bakas na ina rin kasi ako sa practice ko sa private na. Lagi may sense of urgency. Yes. But this time, parang I wanted to level up, because I really want to prove myself worthy of being a public servant. Diba? Kasi nung una talaga, natatakot rin ako na maging public servant kasi baka, you know, I'm, I'm not good enough in the sense na baka mamaya yung skills ko. Kasi matas ang position kagad na nakuha ko eh, na na-appoint ako. So baka mamaya, eh, ang inisip ko pa kasi pag USEC, parang mom ko nung USEC siya and she was like what, in her 50s? So me, I'm not yet at that age. So yung compared to her experiences, lesser yung experience ko. So lagi ako may kaba na I'm I'm scared to do a disservice to the people because they deserve so much more. Yeah, so yun ko, lang. When you got the news na medyo mataas tas kaga, na minibigay sa you, and it goes to show that you know the government trusts you with these positions. Ano pa kaya madam? Um, was it oh, was a sleepless night the first night that you got yeah, the news? Yeah, because I was like, uh, I was getting on my nerves. Na baka, you know, baka I might not be good enough. Ganda na, eh. ganda lang ko lagi magisip. Eh. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Na... Is it you or is it a lawyer thing? Na thinking of those angles then. Maybe because whenever I will be put in a situation, it's really important. It will mean a lot to uh, to people. I would always want to be very prepared. This time around, um, I'm prepared in the sense na buo yung loob ko. Na ito talaga ang gagawin ko. Magpa public service ako, ko commit ko um, six years of my life at least. Talagang pure public service. Imagine from private na you're comfortable, yes. you're earning office, a lot. Office ka lang. Ito talagang sakripisyo. So talagang mentally, I prepare to be a public servant. But yung exact task of being a USEC, medyo dun ako kinabahan kasi iniisip ko, what if you know there's someone better? Uh, for this position and I'm preventing that person from doing the best service to the people. So in my head, lagi ko iniisip na, you know, um, if you want this job, if you want to do well, do give more than 100% because that's what the people need. Yan ang kailangan ng taong bayan. Dahil, alam mo yun, lagi ang daming promises or lagi na lang perception pag nasa gobyerno, ah, uh, you're not gonna do well or tamad ka lang yeah. or... And I want to change that perception. Or simply, hindi, lang sayo. Correct. Uh, or parang hindi ka talaga worthy ng position yan. So ako naman, parang no, no, no. Papalitan ko yung perception yan. At least I will try to. Kasi hindi ko naman makoconvince lahat ng tao. But at least yung iba, marirealize nila. Ah, hindi. May pwede kayong kasangga. May pwede dyan na uh, kahit 1 a.m. matatawagan mo. Kahit 2 a.m. gising yung mga yan. Kung hindi, may gigising naman sa akin. Alam na na number ng driver ko. So if talagang important, tatawag, matatawagan nila ako. What if kailangan ko yung driver mo. Pwede rin. <laughs> what, what if, Pero usap lang tayo. Ah. What, if, what if hindi kita kailangan naman? Yung Zeg March. Okay. Kunwari, wala lang maghahatid sa akin. Pwede so, naman alas din. dos ng umaga, okay lang yung driver mo na lang. Pwede naman din. Na Basta bakante siya, saka nakatulog siya. Kasi importante sa akin sa mga tao ko. Well rested. Especially <laughs> my driver. Tama. Kasi siya yung in charge of buhay ko. Eh. <laughs> driving Tama. me Tama. around. And if I don't agree. make sure na he's taken care of, he doesn't sleep, um, nangihiram na ako na ibang driver. Tama naman. First and wow, foremost, you take care of yourself yeah. before taking care of other people. Correct. You know, I like what you said, Kalina, na you have this worry that there's someone better, na mamaya you're taking a, a chance away from Correct. someone else. Hindi ba? Pero para, para sa akin, the way I see it, is, you know, with, with how you are, it's both, you know, God and destiny. You know, That's playing true. the cards and let everything fall into place. So, wherever you are right now, it means, nandiyan ka because marami kang matutulungan. So your first day as a public servant, sabi mo nga when you started, din naman, you were really talking to people. Anong hindi alam ng marami sa mga tao? Kasi everything, I mean, you know natin, everything you see on social media, ano na yan eh, curated na yan. 
di ba? That's how sure. it is. But what's one thing you learned coming from private and then being able to talk to so many people and hearing their stories? Well, I, w- I learned a lot. Um, sometimes what we just... Paano ba? Ang dami ko kasi naging realization nung nakakausap ko yung mga tao. It's one thing to see na, okay, there's so many poor people. Ang daming hindi nabibigyan ng, pop, ng basic services. But um, when I came in sa DILG, not only did I really know the situation, naramdaman ko talaga yung hirap and yung frustration, ba? Kasi um, lagi kong iniisap na hindi, uh, baka hindi lang nila ginagawa yung part nila. They don't apply for it. They just wait for handouts. But yung iba kasi talagang dumaan na sa proseso and yet ipit sila. Or some, I don't know if this is okay to say, but uh, another aspect would be yung political yung political yes, aspect yes, yes. of things na may iba talaga hindi nabibigyan ng serbisyo kasi napopolitika yung mga ganun yeah, na uh, ang, it's an unfortunate uh, truth it is and then kumbaga there's um, ang dami natin pwedeng gawin but uh, there's so many things that come into play na for me dapat unnecessary na so yun at least na-realize ko yung mga ganung bagay na hindi, it's not that as simple as giving this or doing this a lot of things come into play so you need to factor that in or balance it kung hindi siya 1 plus 1 equals 2 you know, kadali lang yan diba na para sinasabi nga nila diba na gusto ko lang i-share din yung for example you talk about the number 4 if you will hmm. it could be 2 plus 2 3 plus 1 Correct. 4 times 1 we all have an end goal but there are so many ways and means to get there to get there diba so how was the switch naman from DILG tapos when you got the news na okay DOJ naman I mean I love DILG um, it was my training ground talaga for public service and ang dami ko natutunan my boss uh, sec- my former boss secretary Ben Her Abalos um, ang practice niya kasi he was a mayor for a long time for almost uh, two decades yes. so magaling siya mabilis siya so na, nasanay talaga ako sa kanya na to be always on your toes yeah, and mabilis mag-isip so ang ganda rin ng training ko now transitioning to DOJ I was really happy because yeah. it's a dream come true eh. for, for any lawyer I guess Correct. And, no, and maybe because it, uh, it hits closer to home because yes. my mom was Secretary of Justice for yes. 24 years yes. so growing up yan ang playground ko uh-huh. as in dyan ako nang gugulo ng mga tao sila, uh-huh. kasi my mom um, I mean, most of the time, kasi wala kami maid, dahil maugulo yung mga kapatid ko. Um, no, walang kami maids. Or during summers, right? And then sometimes my mom would have to bring me to work kasi nga hindi ako maiwan. Yeah. So, my, uh, when, yeah, when I was really much younger, uh, my mom would take me na lang to the office. Hindi ko alam pala bawal yan back then. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, she would hide me na parang, sige, you know, she's still a mom. And of course. Day. So, um, I would play in that in that building. I would know all the guards kasi sila yung kakulitan ko. May, so, may times na pag hindi busy yung mga abogado doon, pwede kong guluhin. Uh, they always play with me. So when I was appointed, uh, I remember Saj was saying after I took my oath, sabi niya, oh, Marge, you're finally home. Tapos parang lumuha ako. Because yeah. it really felt like home. My mom was there when I was taking my oath taking and then pati yung mga nakasama niya na nakatrabaho niya when she was in DOJ, they were also there. So parang, wow, grabe overwhelming yung support. So the more na I, I told myself na, oh, galingan mo dyan ah. Kasi bagong role yan, bagong challenges, bagong responsibility. Kung ano yung mga naging lapses mo siguro in the past, huwag mo nang gagawin. So mas nasa-challenge ako ngayon. Mas Did you have the skill. same <laughs> realizations when you were with the DILG compared to when you were with the DOJ na? I didn't get to realize a lot of things in terms of yung mga personal realizations kaagad. Kasi sobrang babad kami sa trabaho. Ang broad kasi ng scope ng DILG from mga nag na barangay captains. Name it. Tapos biglang may sunog, may flood, may mga nag na tricycle or yung mga ganong yeah. concerns. Lahat talaga, halo-halo. So every, and then, um, and a lot of yung mga issues, lagi nababato sa DILG. Lahat ng problema ng bansa, nababato talaga sa DILG. Peace and order, public safety, PNP, you name it, na handle na namin. So, I didn't have time to really Marites, reflect. Mga Marites, umaabot ba sa mga DILG? Oo, oo naman. Yung number one na reklamo yung mga Marites. May nangyari na bang gano'n yung mga nagsimula ng away sa barangay dahil lang sa Marites. And for some reason, umaabot sa DILG. Oh, kasi, because both sides will be calling us up. And then telling us na, oh, si barangay captain, ganito, ganawa. <laughs> Tapos minsan, pag tinawagan mo naman si Cap, Cap, ano ba nangyari? Uh-oh. Kasi hanggang Cap, 
kapitan talaga yes, tinatawagan yes. namin and I really want it very collaborative. I mean, ayoko yung mga may layer-layer pa. Pag alam mo na yung problema, tatawagan mo na si Kape. Eh. Kape, ano ba nangyari dito? Oo. Tapos sasabihin nila, explain nila yung side nila. Eh, kasi ma'am, ganito, ganyan, ganyan. So, syempre, mag-aaway na yung dalawa. Sino ba sa inyo talaga nagsasabi ng totoo? Can you just settle it among yourselves? Kasi huwag na natin escalate to na kaso-kaso, sayang oras, sayang Oo. resources. Pag-usapan na lang natin. Kaya I really like calling them up na both. Kasi tapos na. Okay. Yung mga ganyang petty, pero yung mga will require legal opinion, syempre I have to give it to our legal oh, sa DIY. Oo, iba, iba, iba naman yun. Pero yung mga simple ano lang, uh, certificates ayaw ibigay kasi hindi raw siya residente. Yung mga ganun, parang, ha? E dyan na nga nakatire. But, but, but that's something, ano, even, even I didn't know na even that is covered by the DILG. Hindi ko rin alam yan. So, it's very interesting. As, as, naman, as, as USEC ng DOJ, an- anong... Uh, how does it feel? I mean, you said uh, ni Sek Buying, I wasn't coming home. But when you were there, when you were actually working na and talking to the the whole family yeah. of the DOJ, when you were actually working na, what was it? It also felt like home, but this time, as in my personal home, because I grew up with three older brothers. And most of the undersecretaries, kasi, well, actually all the undersecretaries except me, they're all male. And they're all bubbly. And yung panga parang big brothers, yes. mga kuya. So parang literal na, parang nasa bahay lang ako ay eh, mga hirit, ganun. But they're all nice, they're all loving naman. So, um, uh, I guess I'm still transitioning to DOJ because it's only my fourth week. So, a lot of challenges, a lot of legal issues. Ayun din, nasa DALG ako, hindi ako naghawak ng mga legal books. So, medyo nangalaw ako. Okay. So now, because, you know, everyone's so well-versed. Oh, and naman. And it's something they do every day. Yeah, so now, ayan na naman ako sa mode na, I have to pretend, okay, yeah. na, you know, you're this fascinating lawyer. Kasi lahat sila parang, oh, you know, according to ganitong article, ako naman parang, teka, ano nga ba yung Google? Uh, ano ba yung jurisprudence nga pala dito? Ano nga ba yung article uh, na to? Anong code nga pala dito? So there, I had to review again. Because I need to keep up with my colleagues. And coming from two departments that are very, very cutthroat, nandiyan ng DILG, nandiyan ng DOJ, lahat magagaling. Isa pang industry na sobrang cutthroat na naging head ka was PMAP. Yes, I still okay. am the head. You still are, you still are. Yeah, I'm still okay. the president. But this is my last year already. Okay, so... So, nag all out na tayo ngayon. So, ano ang difference ng ginagawa ng PMAP um, versus everything you're doing as a public servant? Because I know modeling in pretty much any country is quite cutthroat. But yes. everyone just sees the finished product, yeah, the glitz and the glamour. Especially oh. now, because um, because of the onset of the internet, right? Yes. Parang the world seems smaller. Like, um, there's a lot of foreign models coming in. So that's like one as oh, That's a challenge also because, you know, we want our Filipino models to be competitive as well, not only here, but globally. Of so uh, one big difference, well, what can I say? Um, I think different challenges lang. But in terms of what I do for PMAP, kasi, um, I don't focus on modeling anymore. As president, I want to focus on uh, strengthening our organization. Make, um, I have three goals coming in as president. I want them to be more um, inclusive. So back then, kasi yung PMAP, uh, when okay. they think of models, when they invite models to join the organization, um, may, may, ano eh, may peg. Kailangan sobrang paya, 23 ang waistline, tapos ang height mo, 5'9", 5'10". But may now, mold eh, before eh, mold, di ba? Parang talaga. cookie cutter mold, ganun. But now, we want to be inclusive. So, we opened up PMAP to all types of models. And also, uh, regardless of your background, kasi yung iba sa kanila, um, kahit athletes, parang, oh, do you all say, no, no, I'm just an athlete. No, you're also, you can be an athlete, and you can be a model, and you can be anything that you want. So, um, that was my focus. So, na, more of capacity building and also inspiring them to be community builders. Kasi, di ba, syempre, before yung peg namin pag model, model lang sila. Uh-oh. Wala na silang pakialam about what's happening around them. Yeah. Kumbaga, but, it starts and ends as a fashion show. Correct. Okay. So, but, you know, we want them to be, to broaden their perspective on things. So, we're really encouraging them na, oh, you know, let's do community service. So, our, our last one was noong December, we visited a Safeway House for Women in Alabang. And and we interacted with the women there, with the children also. So, natutuwa sila yung after, after namin matapos nung wala na yung mga tao, um, they started crying kasi it was their first time to see na sometimes, uh, karamihan kasi sa mga models namin, um, they're the breadwinners of their family. So, they didn't come from really um, well-off na background. So, na-realize na parang, kala ko mahirap na yung buhay ko. 
mas mahirap pa pala yung sa kanila. So, mas naging appreciative sila. So, I mean, kasi that they never had the opportunity to see the side of yung itong side na to, yung mga talagang naapi na babae, na binubugbog ng mga asawa. So, yung nakikipag-interact sila, sabi nila, ma'am, ang heavy. Or, uh, they call me attorney March. Attorney March ang heavy. Pero, na-appreciate ko pa rin na dinala mo kami dito kasi, wala, na, mas naging grateful ako sa buhay ko. Parang ganun. You see the bigger picture of life. Kasi sometimes we live in, in so much comfort Comfort, Correct. Diba, na there's uh, there's the bigger picture in life. Nga. Do you have a favorite memory as a model? Nangyari ba sa'yo yung the, the typical stories na pwedeng nadulas o hindi kayo? Oh yeah, it happens. It happens. May isa kami ang show. It was a Fern on a show for uh, Red Charity Gala. Okay. So it was a huge event because it's Red Charity. Eh. Okay. Um, we're raising funds for yung mga, um, mga foundations and centers. So we did a Fern on a show. And then yung heels ng mga models, parang mababa ang six. It was a... Uh, oh, oh, mga higher. Mababa pa yan mababa sa lagay na, na yan. Mababa sa kanila. So it was um, provided by the designer. And for an one, eh, pag nakita mo yung mga creations niya, very couture. Okay. Uh, very couture. Kasi he's based in Dubai, by the yes. way, for an one. And then when we did the show, um, nagkaroon ng technical problem because yung fog machine, yung fog machine, nag-leak ng oil. Okay. Ng oil sa stage. So, yung nalik yung... Um, so, naging oily na yung stage. And it was, what, 15 minutes before show started. And no one realized na nag -leak. Up until the model started coming out and they all slipped one by one. Isa-isa. Isa-isa. So, parang kami sa, la, sa backstage, parang ano nangyayari? Okay, okay. Kasi oily eh. Tos, and, someone not... tried to clean it pa with water and you know what happens when you mix oil, oil and water. And water. So, parang kami, oh, ako na ba next? So, parang ina-anticipate na namin talaga mahuhulog na kami kasi lahat talaga, even the best <laughs> model. Yung, even, tanggap mo nang mahuhulog oh, Even yung mga ka. talagang seasoned oh, na models oh. na magagaling sa catwalk, nahulog. Pero tayo na lang sila. Kung ba ang tayo ng model? Parang <laughs> 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 Kailangan naman ako eh. dati yusik ka. Kailangan Parang wala naman sa amin tumayo na pagkanda. Parang poes, okay, Parang okay, ganun okay. lang. Para part of the act. So yeah, we all went through that. Or minsan, kahit yung mga regular shows, kasi yung mga sapatos namin sometimes provided by the designer, hindi naman swak talaga sa mga size ng paa namin. For example, 7, if it fit mo sa size 9 na paa, di ba? <laughs> yeah, but, not, but by the way, I'm not complaining, ha? It's just yeah. all part of oh, the experience. It, it happens. <laughs> oh, that, that's part of a fashion show. So yeah, we went through that na rin naman. So it's actually character building because, you know, after that, you have to move on, eh. You know, you can't dwell on, ah, iyak ka sa backstage, ah, nadulas ako, parang niya, wala na mag-hire sa I'm like, no. You know, just forget it, move on. Parang buhay lang yan. Nagkamali ka, you know, or, or nagkamali, or next time, don't wear shoes na talagang hindi fit, kausapin mo na yung designer na kung pwede, use your own. Uh -huh. ba? There are so many ways to avoid that scenario na. So, there. <laughs> okay, may tanong ko sa'yo. Meron tayo isang common friend. Okay. Okay, so I asked trivia uh, about you. I wonder you. who this common okay. friend is. is uh, sabihin ko na mamaya. Is girl or boy? Ha? Girl. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Right, safe tayo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sabi niya, well, one is, it's pretty obvious na you're very fond and supportive of the LGBTQIA community. Yes, that's true. Saan galing yun? Maybe because I've been working with them for a really long time. Sila na yung mga naging friends ko in modeling. So I started modeling after um, college, I think, uh, towards the last year of my college but more on the first year of law school. So, sila yung mga naging instant friends ko. Kasi yung personality nila, it's so different, diba? Shy nga ako, diba? Yes. Sila kasi... It's out there. Oo, and also me, I'm careful with what I say. Kasi I feel like baka ma-judge ako, ano sabihin ko. Careful talaga ako. So usually, nakikinig na lang ako. Ito mga friends ko, na mga to, you know, they can say anything. And it's so witty, diba? They're very smart oh, oh. kasi, grabe yung mga hirap na talagang tatawa ka na lang. So, sa kanila ako yung parang mas na as na attract so i always like being at with them at nahasa ka doon ha at nahasa ka talaga they're, they're so witty, oh, oh. Ibang level na parang, oh, ano, with ibang level na para oh ano no mga gets mo kagad so uh, you know i really i really have a lot of i mean more than 50% of my friends so. kung saan <laughs> eh na ang abogado kakabahan sa aking katanungan okay you go bring it on talaga may may shake kung saan ang kaibigan natin na yon Sinabi sa akin, total pinag-uusapan ng LGBTQIA community. Sabi niya, ayan si attorney, kung magmahal yan, term niyo to, kung magmahal yan ay parang bakla.
Ah, what does that term mean? That niya sa akin. I didn't know love. That's is... coming from someone sa LGBTQIA community. Ah. So Wait, hindi ko lang binaba to. Inang term niya. Bakit kaya niya nasabe? Ah, na siya, medyo gets ko na. Nasi authority marriage ay parang uh, bakla ko magmahal. I think wala. Ang na nagsabi na. sa akin ang initials niya ay PY. <laughs> <laughs> okay, parang may idea na. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, um paano ba? No, I didn't know na may gender pa lang pag-ibig. <laughs> no, um, I guess kasi marupok ako. <laughs> and aminin nyo, marupok kayo magmahal. Sekbuying! <laughs> marupok sila magmahal. And that's why we also get along so well. You know me, every time kasi I'm with my friends, I like talking to them mga issues, yeah. um, mga relationship. Kasi ganun naman sila, that's how they open up. Yes. And I think that's how you really bond with them, di ba? You get to know them on a deeper level. I mean, aside from tawa lang kayo ng tawa, of course, kailangan may moments of seriousness sa kanila. So sometimes, they bring up nila yung love life nila. So, nakakwento talaga nila yung mga struggles nila na may mahal sila, kaso mahal yung iba. So, I guess nakaka-relate kami in a sense na um, we're very selfless when we love. I'm like that. I'm really selfless when I love. Kasi I'm ayoko mag-regret na one day para I didn't give it all and then nawala na yung person. At least, kung maghiwalay kami, alam ko na binigay ko lahat-lahat. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Hindi ba dapat ganun? Hey, tama, no, but tama, I'm really tama. selfless eh. Pag magmahal. Kasi ayoko iniisip na uh, ayoko nag-regret. Kaya it's so easy also for me to move on because I know I did everything to make it work and the moment na talagang hindi, Ano na yan? Sagad na sagad na ako. So, I can easily move on. And wala na akong hang-ups or wala na akong mga what-ifs kasi tapos na yan. That's why I don't have friends na ex. <laughs> ah! So, y- talagang inaano mo yun na pagtapos na, even if na parang a, a very like cash as friend lang talaga, wala talaga. You make sure that you end it right there and then. Yeah, and also in respect for the next relationship, diba? I, I don't want ano, loose ends. So, if it's done, it's really done. Pero yung mga friends ko kasi na sa community, minsan talagang kahit done or kahit, I mean, bumabalik talaga sila. So ako to, being the big sister na parang, tigilan mo na yan, wala na tayong maasahan, move on na, marami naman magmamahal sa'yo. So there, that's why they say na marupok yan. Pero once makaget over na yan, it's done. But diba there's something about the LGBTQIA community na parang mahal sila next level. Iba. Correct. Diba? Parang for, for some reason, like for example, kahit ako, same thing, pag nakakausap ko yung mga kaibigan ko from the community, yung even if mag-on sila nung lalaki, yeah. for example, sila magpapabinyag dun sa anak nung guy with a girl or hindi ka magpapagawa ng bubong nilang mag-asawa. Isa pang atwisyon. Diba? They'll give everything, coach, eh, to provide for the other family. As in, ganun, ka-selfless talaga sila. Hindi, ma- hindi pa naman umabot sa ganung level, but um, you could just see how good of uh, people they are kasi talagang they'll give everything kahit mawala na yung sa kanila kahit maubos na sila basta meron lang yung, yung mahal nila na sa buhay I'm sure sa mga nanonood dito especially maraming sa mga nanonood na bata eh. <laughs> yeah so Louise listens and for those that you know want to be a public servant what's the best advice that you can give for them what's interesting you right now a very successful woman um, as BMAP, as the DILG, and then of course as uh, USEC and DOJ, and the future is so bright for everything you want to do as a public servant. And maybe they're saying right now, parang gusto ko ganyan din ang path ko. Do you have any message for them? There are no shortcuts. Um, me, it took me 10 years before I was able to enter public service. I've always wanted it my whole life. But because of some circumstances that happened in my family with my mom, because diba, she stepped down from office, na disheartened she uh, with public service, and she told me when I when I told her that I really want to join government, can you let me? She said, "Wag mo na anak, kasi baka ma disheartened ka lang gaya, ma heartbroken ka lang gaya ko." So, syempre, being the dutiful daughter, I followed her. Kahit in my heart, my burning passion talaga na mag, 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 kasi buong buhay ko eh. Pag tinatanong, what kind of a lawyer do you want to be? I want to be in government. Lagi! And now that I had a chance, or sorry, now that I, when I became a lawyer, I really wanted to pursue public service. Napigilan niya talaga ako. Kasi nga sabi niya, anak, ang sakit ng mga nangyari sa akin. Baka ayokong mangyari yan sa'yo. Huwag muna. So talagang, I, I struggled in the first few years kasi I feel like I was a sellout telling people na, hey, I'm gonna be a government lawyer. And here you are, a private for a corporate pa. Yeah. So, parang, I felt 
not myself. I wasn't too happy the first few years. But later on, parang, okay, baka hindi talaga ito yung path ko. Sige, let's just work hard. But masakit yung first few years ko as a lawyer kasi akala ko, mapupulfill ko na yung pangarap ko na maging abogado para sa gobyerno. But now that I had the opportunity to become a public servant, um, I'm happy that I was able to prepare for it. Uh, emotionally, also financially. Yes. Ipon mo na ako kasi. Oh, tama naman. Di, kung talagang serbisyo ang habol mo, hindi ka kikita sa gobyerno. Saka, kung serbisyo ang habol. Correct. So and then also I have to work hard because I have to prove myself worthy. Kasi ganun ako eh. Yes. Sa kahit anong papasukan ko, you have to prove na commensurate naman yung skills mo sa a-applyan mo na job. So for those out there who want to be public servants, first you have to have the passion for it. Um, come into this with the right intentions, with the right heart, at the very least. Also, be um, be ready, talaga, to to help people without expecting anything in return. Kaya thank you, because it's it's really a thankless job. But yun nga, eh, hindi mo naman easy pa niyan lagi na parang every time you do something, oh, magpasalamat ka, oh, dapat grateful. Uh-huh. No, this is your job. You do it. Go in mayan. So dapat ganon yung mentality mo. And lastly, you have to be compassionate. You have to be compassionate na um, minsan kasi sa trabaho, di ba, nawawalan yung puso. So minsan pag nagde-decide ka on certain things, nakakalimutan mo na yung perspective nung kabila. So dapat maging kind and compassionate ka pa din, no matter kung ano yung circumstances. Kasi may way naman yan na, kunyari, hihindian mo. Yes. Kasi mali siya. Hindi mo nang sabihin, hindi, mali ka eh, or bobo ka, or ikaw kasi, kasi lalam, huwag ganun. Yeah. You know, you be kind enough eh, because you're still providing service to the people, di ba? You don't want to be uh, treated unkindly, course, or course. regardless of your stature, di ba? Na dapat, ano ka lang, humble ka lang, compassionate ka lang sa tao, pakikiramdaman mo, dapat mabait ka lang. So, those are the three things na I want you to consider if you're gonna enter public service. So, I really want to change the notion of people entering public service for the wrong reasons. Yes. Kasi hindi, trabaho to, para sa taong bayan to, tulungan natin sila. You know, uh, I'm really happy that we had this conversation um, because the next time I'll see you, whether it be on TV, um, hopefully on a good or circumstance, <laughs> is when I see you, I'll see someone, uh, not simply someone as a USEC, not simply someone as president of PMAP, or simply as a lawyer. I'll get to see you as a public servant. I hope. And para, para sa akin, that is, we have so many politicians but being a public servant is uh, quite rare nowadays. So I uh, thank you for joining thank me, Luis. This is I appreciate. Thank Alam po, you. you are very, very busy. <laughs> you have your hands full in everything that you do, no, and uh, that's for a good cause also. Thank you. Because thank we'll, at you. least we'll be able to ins- hopefully inspire people to join the public service for the right reasons, right? You sec. <laughs> Thank you Thank so you much. very much. Thank you for watching Luis Listens. Marami marami salamat guys for watching the listeners. Thank you very much. What an episode. Ang dami ko rin natutunan. Kung sakasakali man na mapunta rin ako sa public service. Yes, why not? <laughs> why not? You sick. Alam mo na pag-usapan to. Para Kung mas, sakasakali man. Para mas maraming ano, magaganda at gwapo. Sa Kung sakasakali man service. na ako ay tumakbo. <laughs> okay. Nagbigay na ako ng plataforma online. I'm okay. not sure kung uh, narinig mo. Sabi ko online. Kung sakasakali man ako itumakbo at manalo, kulimling pa lang, may ayuda ka na. Kulimling pa lang yun. Paano pa pag umulan? May dumura lang sa kalye, may relief goods ka na. Ganon ako katindi. Masakit ulo mo, naka-wheelchair ka na kagad. Wow. Yun ang mga platform ko. ko yan, ha? At syempre, ang politiko dapat hindi ganito mag-isip. Dapat pa nag-iisip ka para sa taong bayan, kailangan in advance. Tama, tama. Tama. Dapat may ano ka, percep- yung perception mo dapat mabilis. Nagpapacheck up ka pa lang, katabi mo na yung embalsamador. Oh no! Huwag namang ganun. Sir, huwag ganun. Mananalo kayo. <laughs> Mananalo ba? Pa- pwede, pwede. <laughs> Depende kung sino ang magiging campaign manager mo. Di ba? Kung yun ang intention mo, basta effectively makommunicate yan ng maayos. <laughs> Gusto ko yun. Paano mo i-justify sa mga tao? <laughs> Like, so, ano yan, yeah, delivery. Oh, uh, it's always uh, how you send the message. Messaging, yeah, uh, the messaging. You yeah. said, I truly thank enjoyed you. Thank you very much. Me also. Thank like, you for Like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to vlog. And thank you, listeners. Bye, guys. Thank you.